Meantime, former President Trump spent about uh, two hours at the Wilkie D. Ferguson Federal Courthouse while his supporters and critics rallied outside. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward was there in the thick of it where he saw nose-to-nose -nose arguments and an arrest. He gives us a look. USA, USA, USA. They faced off in downtown Miami. These people are not based on reality, so their opinion doesn't matter to me. People happy to see former President Donald Trump face federal indictment. I feel so sorry. I feel so wrong. I'm so mad. And people who cried over it. It's uh, probably the worst day since President Kennedy and President Lincoln were shot. Dozens camped overnight with predictions. Trump is going to get out of here victorious. There will be nothing done to him other than uh, his phone numbers going up and skyrocketing. But as the former president asked for a jury trial inside, outside, both sides heard taunts. They believe his lies. After this interview and the hearing, Dominic Santana jumped in front of Trump's motorcade. Miami police tackled and arrested him. It hardly changed hearts or minds. Plenty left wondering what's next. It's not a happy day for me. I'm, I'm not uh, celebrating. Uh, I mean, there may be a little internal shot in for it, but for the country, it's sad that we have a president or a former president that finds that, that is in this position. Protests did not linger here after former President Donald Trump left. Crowds on both sides followed, many of them quickly. In downtown Miami, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.